Okay, so what are we looking at here? All right, this, this is, is this is a fiberglass uh, spray gun system. Okay. For uh, basically uh, taking woven fiber, string fiberglass, and it puts it through this gun. And basically, it comes out and it chops it and sprays it onto a surface. Okay. So instead of uh, laying uh, fiberglass, big sheets of it, and then rolling it out and, and taking up time, this here, basically, you spray on any surface and then you just roll it in and then you're done. So it's okay. a lot faster operation. So what kind of uh, efficiency can we reach with this, like time savings, oh, compared to nor laying big sheets of fiberglass? For, uh, for, the, for example, we're, look, we're, we're doing it underneath the uh, C-pod floor now. Uh -huh. So to be underneath there and roll it in and cutting all the cloth to go in would take hours or days, whereas this here, just go in and we spray it and be done in minutes and oh. then we just roll it out and then so it, it okay. greatly reduces our time manufacturing and cost. So um, how does this work? I'm not going to like no, no. trigger it by accident, right? No, no, there's no okay. pressure. So basically we have air pressure that comes in. 40 this goes over your shoulder? Yeah, you can put like it that? over your shoulder and then um, basically we have the resin and the hardener comes out and we adjust the uh, speed at which they mix. So instead of mixing in the line, they mix it on the surface. And then we have a double string um, woven fiber that comes through uh -huh. and goes into this spool. And inside the spool, we got these cutting blades. And so the cutting blades goes up ah, against this rubber okay. wheel. And as this fiber comes through, it gets chopped and then the air blows it out onto the surface. It mixes this with the resin and the hardener, so mm -hmm. all three are coming out at the same time, and then you just put on layers. Okay, great. Of fiberglass. So this could um, dramatically increase our production speed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can this be put onto a robotic arm as well? Yes, it can. We have a robotic arm system for different systems. So we know we got a components that are coming out on a, you know, and then, uh, well, even here, once mm -hmm. we, we put a robot in there, and then we can program it to paint the surfaces that we need. Okay. Um, is, right. is this one actually compatible with a robotic arm? Yeah. Or do we need to do some modifications? Like, does no. it just hook in, and then uh, it has some way of regulating the, the flow? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it'd be basically you have uh, control valves onto the lines. Okay. So then pressure is there and then you just open up the valve when it gets to a position, mm -hmm. program it in, hold it in and once it gets to that position, the valve opens up and the sprayer goes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so when uh, when can we do our first test? What do we have to do? Uh, right now we're just we're sitting up the small air compressor uh -huh. just to do a test to get the formulations and the speeds correct. And we, we have a few fittings that tighten up. Yeah. And then uh, just this afternoon we should be able to uh, have it up and running. For our first test, and then once we get to test it, we know we got the right speeds and of the fiber and the mixture. Yeah. Then we can start using it on our on our C pod. Okay. Great. So, so this goes into the resin yeah. container. Yeah. So this basically just goes right into the to the cap. Yeah. It sits here, and then we got the pressure from the airline comes in our valves, we can adjust the valves for the settings that we need for the speed, and then we have our other lines connected, and it's just a matter of the trigger. And then our fiberglass lines go in here. Yeah, fiberglass lines go in here. But so, but we got, by rights, we need an arm. So, so basically, we got the tank sits in here, we got spools that sit on a controller, <coughs> and then, um, the spools will come down and go through here. Okay. So that's the only thing we have to sit up for full operation. So okay. Right now we're doing a testing and we can put the spools on the floor, let it come over our shoulder and let it feed through for uh, tests. So the arm would be almost like you're wearing it, like a backpack or something with an it's arm over coming your head. down? It's on okay. a three point uh, articulator okay. so you can move around. So it basically takes the weight of the hose plus it supports the, uh, the fiber. Okay, cool. It's exciting. We've been looking forward to this for months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna like maybe six months or longer. <laughs>
Fantastic. All right, thanks. Okay, so what you just saw is uh, we're setting up our fiberglass spray gun. This will allow us to do a lot faster uh, fiberglass work. As you know, our C pods are made of mostly fiberglass, so we need to find ways to speed up that production because laying it down manually uh, just takes a lot of time. So this machine is going to probably increase our production speed by 10 times. It's a big, big difference. So. Uh, this should be up and running this afternoon and we'll uh, come back and check it out.